Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So in this video, we're going to try and integrate um, the natural log of x dx. Um, but we're going to use our new method. So our old method would be to do it this way, where we would imagine natural log uh, times 1. And then we would set, we, we would use the, uh, the integration by parts. And then uh, u times v, uh, u times v, we would then, uh, we would then do this. So this here would be our old method. And then, uh, um, and then, and then here it would be u prime, u prime times, uh, times v. So that would be 1. So this is our old method of doing it. Doing it this way would then give you this, would then give you this. So this should be our final answer here. But now I'm going to ask you to use our, our new method, the method that, um, that was shown in the previous two videos. Okay. So, so this one here, you, you would start out, uh, you would start out by saying, let this whole thing here be y. So let this whole thing here be y. And then if, because, uh, because this is an inverse, you, you can easily jump to this, e to the y, well, e to the power of y equals x. If you have um, an inverse like this, you you, uh, you can easily jump to this, sine y equals x. Well, well when, you, when, you, um, when you integrate an inverse, it's, it's easy that you can jump from here to here. Well, anyway, use a new method of integrating this. It should give us, um, it should give us this answer here. Okay? But learn to use a new, uh, the new method. It, it just, it, it's not necessary, but it, it gives you a, a better understanding of what's going on. Okay, so press, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, to do this, start out by saying that let's this be y. So, uh, so y equals the natural log of x. And then, um, uh, and then from here you would e, uh, e to the power of y equals x. And then from here, uh, from our, from our section on differentials, we, we are able to do this. Differentiate this, which will be itself. And then, uh, you've got your dy here. Differentiate this, which is 1 times, uh, dx. So that's dx. So now dx equals this thing here. So, uh, so now we can put, don't forget this thing here is y. So, so now we can put this into here. And then, uh, the dx part, the dx part, the dx part, we can put this into the uh, the dx part, so that would then give us that would then give us this, you know, that would then give us uh, that that would then give us this. Okay, so uh, putting in there it would then give us this. So now uh, now all we need to do now is integrate this. So so from here you would use integration by parts. Learn learn to do this in your head. Um, so let this here be uh, be u. And, let, and then let this here be v prime, v prime. So uh, remember the per, the first part of um, of uh, integration by parts would be u v. So uh, u times times the integral of this, which will be itself, which will give you this. And then take away um, take away uh, u u prime. Well, learn learn to jump from here to here in in your head. Yeah, by by using integration by parts. When it's simple like this, learn to do it in your head. So from here, jump to here. That will then give you this. And then uh, and then all you need to do now is integrate this. So integrating that would then be itself. So uh, so this thing here would then become this. And then earlier we said um, earlier we said uh, let uh, let y equals natural uh, natural log of x. So now now if you look at this, you've got y. Uh, uh, times e to the power of y. But well, don't forget y is this thing here. So if, if you just look at this bit here, you've got e to the power of y. e to the power of y, but y is this thing here. So natural log of x. So, so this whole block here will just be x. So this thing here will just be x. And y, what is y? y is this thing here. So this, this thing here will be natural log of x. So, uh, so this whole thing here will then become this. And then here you've got e to the power of y, but y is this. So this thing here will just become negative x. Okay, so, so this is our final answer. Okay.